All right, and over here on Iron Chef Morimoto's side, he appears to be simmering some kind of broth here. I'm not exactly sure what he'll be doing with that. Perhaps he'll add the whale meat to that later. Hmm, I'm not sure. Fukui-san, go ahead, Ota. I was just talking to Iron Chef Morimoto, and he told me that in this pot are a combination of ginger, fish sauce, vinegar, chili, soybean, sake, and shallots, and he will be adding the whale meat to this broth later on. Back to you. Okay, thanks, big guy. It does seem like the Iron Chef might be leaving this a little late here. We have just 15 minutes to go, and he hasn't even begun to cook the whale meat for this dish, but I'm sure he has a plan, as always. On the challenger's side, is that shark fin? Yes, I think you're right, Miyazaki-san. Challenger Kaneda does appear to be adding shark fin to the wok, which some might call a bit odd, but Fukui-san! Take it! Yes, you're right, Miyazaki-san. Challenger Kaneda has just added fins from the ultra-rare frilled shark to this wok, which also contains Matsutake mushrooms, fresh seaweed, sweet soy sauce, and swallow's nest. Back to you. Swallow's nest. That's made from the saliva of the bird, is that right? I'm not too sure on that one, but if we... Fukui-san! Go! Miyazaki-san is again correct. Swallow's nests are made from the bird's saliva inside the caves where they live and then harvested so they can be served by humans. And when combined with the matsutake mushrooms, shark fin, and whale meat, this will be one very indulgent dish. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Ota. And we will have to wait to see how Challenger Kaneda's dish comes out after the break.